In this video I will show you how you can make the VHS fisheye effect. I'm having a video on my timeline that is not edited and now we're gonna make the effects on that video. And basically VHS is one effect and fisheye is the other one and that is actually a combination of these two effects. So I'm gonna show you how you can do both of them. Just go to effects library, open effects and in the search bar you can type transform. You wanna grab it and leave it over your main footage. Then highlight your main footage, go to your inspector tab on the right and under image adjustment you can increase the values, edge softness you can leave on 1 and edge rounding you can leave it on 0.7 or even you can put it at 1 if you want a complete circle. Next up go in effects library again and this time search for dent, you can then drag and drop it again over your main footage, go in the effects in the inspector and change the type to number 2. Change the value of size of about 0.5 and also the strength to about 0.4. After setting the values of this dent, you can preview now. This is basically the fisheye effect and now we're gonna combine it with VHS. I'm not gonna use the plugins but I'm gonna use an overlay which I got from pexel.com. I just simply drag and drop it over my footage. There are many different kinds of VHS overlays. I'm gonna highlight this overlay, I'm gonna go in the inspector and on compulsive mode I'm gonna select screen and as I can see it's a bit over the top so I'm gonna decrease the opacity so I can make it a little bit not so much visible. Then I'm noticing another problem and that is it's going over the black area as well so we need to right click on it and open it in fusion page and now we need to select media in, we're gonna highlight it and then we're gonna select this ellipse icon right here. And then while the ellipse icon is highlighted you can see that on the right view we can see that the visuals of that VHS effect, the overlay actually. So we're gonna rearrange the position of that mask. I'm gonna try to represent the same shape just as the fisheye effect is having. As you can see right now the VHS overlay is a little bit smaller than the fisheye effect. So I'm gonna increase the size and I'm gonna go back in the edit to check it. Now it's almost right but you can see that there's a hard edges so I'm gonna highlight this ellipse and I'm gonna increase the soft edge so that I can make it less visible that there's an overlay in the fisheye effect. Then I'm going back to the edit tab and I can preview to see for some mistakes or something that is very off but I think it's looking alright so I'm moving out with the last step that is going in the effects tab again in the effects library I'm typing jpeg and I'm adding the jpeg damage over my main footage and now I'm gonna use the default values I'm not gonna change anything so let's preview everything this is with all the effects the dent the transform and the jpeg with the overlay vhs and now I'm gonna disable the jpeg the dent the transform and also the overlay and play it like original and that was the video I hope it was helpful and you learned something new thanks for watching and see you in the next one